feet here in Madison Square Garden. It's been seven years since the Knicks went to the postseason. They are heading to the playoffs in 2011. Back in 2004, Carmelo Anthony was a rookie, Chauncey Billups was on his way to become MVP of the NBA Finals, and Damari Stoudemire would play for a bronze medal for the United States in Athens. Plenty has changed since, and after a seven-year absence, the New York Knicks are back in the playoffs where they meet the defending Eastern Conference champions, Boston Celtics, in the first round. Actually, I think the Knicks got a good chance to get out the first round, believe it or not. Said Brian Kennedy, a Harlem native who roots for the Los Angeles Lakers but supports his hometown team. New York's last playoff appearance didn't last long. After suffering a first round sweep at the hands of the New Jersey Nets, Knicks fans have experienced roller coaster season after season. Jordan Lauterbach, host of the Sports Wire Late Night on WCWP 88.1 FM, has had difficulty keeping up with the tough times. It's kind of hard to pay attention to a team when it's the same story night after night after. Prior to their seeding clinching victory versus the Cleveland Cavaliers, it wasn't rare to hear Knicks fans like Howard Washington reminisce about the good old days. Nobody remembers Toby Knight, Roy Henry, Henry, Henry Bibby, and then the, the Raleigh era, which was good. We had a good run. Okay. And then it was just chaos for a decade. And yeah, I was going for them in 99. I was like, yo, what? The Spurs? Come on, you know I was hating on them. Even Patrick Creighton, co-host of the Sports Wire Late Night, has to think far back in order to find his most memorable Nick moment. The 94 Finals game. I'm out with a bunch of my friends watching Nick's Rockets and all of a sudden they cut half the screen away because OJ Simpson is driving down a highway in a white Bronco. After numerous ineffective free agent signings, trades that never worked out, and draft picks that didn't amount to anything, Nick fans grew wary. It's been pretty brutal because watching this team go from, you know, a perennial 50 plus win team for you know over a decade they were always in the playoffs they always went to the conference finals after um late in then isaiah then it was terrible it's been tough i mean especially when so many teams 16 make the playoffs every year and you are not one of them not one of them and not one of them and the year that you are you get swept by uh, your crosstown rivals the nets in 2004. Ever since the arrival of Amari Stoudemire and Carmelo Anthony, the team whose most notable draft pick was in 1985 will finally have a chance at rebuilding for the future. But even with a roster that contains two of the game's most prolific scorers and a point guard with plenty of playoff experience, Nick fans have low expectations from their team in these playoffs. All we have to do is win two, two games and I'm happy. I gave them a chance to win a game. It, like I said, it's not that they won't be competitive. They will be competitive, they just won't win. Lack of defense is the primary reason why some Nick fans believe they won't even make it out the first round. They need a big man. If we had a better bench, we could run on them. Because they're older, but we don't have a good enough bench to run on them. The reason the Knicks can't get over the hump in close games is because they can't rebound. They can't get a defensive stop. They have no set plays. Starting September, New York will begin a full season of the Amari Stoudemire and Carmelo Anthony era. Which free agents will join them? We'll have to wait and see. But will Coach Mike D'Antoni be back? I can't wait. Uh, if they have an next season, uh, that's the first thing. But I absolutely can't wait. A full training camp, maybe some uh, different players, maybe a new coach that you know fits the, the talent right now a little better. I think next year this is a top five team in the Eastern Conference. I think a lot of this year was, look, you acquire a guy, such a big piece of your offense, such a big piece of your team in February, and you expect it to work like that. That's just, I don't care how good the guy is, it's not going to happen. I think when push comes to shove, making the playoffs is enough, uh, partly because I don't know if there's that guy waiting, waiting in the wings. You know, I don't know that a Phil Jackson type coach is coming here. I just don't think they are, especially with that owner. Kind of a hard guy to work with at times. So I think he will be here. Uh, I could see him being fired if they're swept and non-competitive in the next two. But anything more, I think he keeps his job. Reporting from Brookville, New York, Darwin Rodriguez.